What is up, guys? I'm super excited about this box. It came in today. This is Both of these are part of a $5,000 mystery box from Hank to Tank TV. I'm kind of breathing hard right now. I had to carry both of these up the stairs, but again, I'm super excited about this. This, this is the most I've ever spent on his mystery boxes. So let's just get straight into it. So here we go. Oh, you can already see what the first shoe is right here. Box light already open. Let's get this out. Small, small size. This is size seven youth, some Jordan ones. See right here. And these are brand new as well. So this is the first shoe guys. See the details on this. Size seven youth. Let's check out what these are going for. But in case you're like me and you didn't know what these are, they're called the Satin Royals. And look how much they're going for. I don't think I've ever had a grade school pair other than Off-Whites that go for this much. Like a grade school Jordan 1. Look at that. These came out in 2017 as well. I already know some of you guys are going to roast me for not knowing what the shoe is. But anyways, a size 7 youth. I'm going to mark it right in between these at $1,000. So a really good start already just based off the first shoe. So let's move on now. You already know what shoe this is going to be. Let's see. But this is a size 13. A big size right here. But it's going to be the Jordan 11 Cool Grays. And these look brand new as well. Going to kind of speed through this because there's going to be a lot of shoes. But yeah, this is the second shoe, guys. A size 13. Kind of going for more than the other pairs. Going to mark it at 380. That's the last sale. And it's a little below lowest ask. So 380 with that. And let's go with this Yeezy 350. It's a smaller box, but let's see what this is. So here they are. They're the Yeezy 350 Clays. And these are slightly used. And it's a size, in case I haven't said it yet. Size 2? Dang, I didn't even realize how small it is. But So these might be a little harder to move just because they are used in a small size. But either way, they're in good condition. This is the third shoe from the box. So for this being a size 2 and a smaller size, they're actually going for a really good amount. Brand new, I would say going for like 300-ish, 320. That being slightly used, I'm going to mark it at like 240. So 1620 with the first three shoes. And it looks like there's going to be four shoes left from this top box. I think I know what these... Oh, it's heavy too. So it might be a big size. Let's go with this. I actually have no idea what these are going to be. Size 14, a Jordan 6. And oh, these are kind of cool. These are a green colorway. And I think these are brand new as well. At first I thought they were going to be the DMP 6s. But then you can see the gold watch and everything, the Jordan logo. I think these, I have no idea what they are, but it looks like it's gonna, it looks like a shoe that would be going for a good amount. But we're gonna check it out right now. But this is the fourth shoe from the mystery box, guys. And this is called the Jordan 6 Champagne, size 14. I'm gonna mark it at the last sale, 390. So that's what I'm at. I just passed the $2,000 mark. Three more shoes to go from the top box. I think I've had a pair of these. They're gonna be the Gatorade Jordan ones, but I know there is multiple colors. Another size 14 here. Let's see if it's a color. I, I got in the light blue color before, so let's see if this is a different colorway. And, oh yeah, it's a, oh, the Jordan 6 is. Jordan 6 Gatorades. Brand new as well. I like these. These are a lot. Nicer than the Jordan 1s that I got last time. Not from his box, from a different box. But this is the next shoe, guys. You can see the Gatorade colorway, brand new as well. The Gatorade 6s, a size 14. Kind of hard to price it again. I'm going to price that at like 400 So I'm at $2,410 with the first five shoes. Let's see, two shoes to go. Another Jordan box right here. And it's a Jordan 8, a size 11 and a half. So I don't get 8s much or often. 
Oh, I've had this colorway before too. And these are brand new as well. I'm trying to remember what it's called, but actually it might be a different colorway. Who knows? I'll check it out right now, but brand new pair. These are pretty cool colorway, white, red, and black. Let's see what these are going for. And this is called the Jordan 8 Alternates. As you can see right here. Big difference between ask and bid again. So the more recent sales, around like 280. I'm going to mark it at 280. So I am at 2,690. I'm past the halfway mark. And look what I've gotten so far. Like, you don't get these shoes every day, like older shoes. And the best part is they're brand new. So, so thank you, Hank the Tank TV, for hooking me up so far. From what I've seen, really good shoes here. Let's get this. Oh, I already know based off the box what this is going to be. Let's see the size. Size 13. And there it is, the Jordan 4 Black Cats. And let's see. These might be slightly used. Oh, yeah, they're for sure used. You can see right there. But really good condition all around. No bad creasing in the toe area. Bottom's pretty clean. Let's check out this pair. So yeah, no star loss. You can't really tell by the camera, but there's no star loss. No bad creasing around the toe area again. No scuffs or anything all around. So really good pair right here. Super clean Jordan 4 Black Cats. So Black Cats, I would say they're VNDS to, to be honest. They're super clean. But anyways, size 13, brand new. I would probably say if they were brand new, they were going for about like seven, like yeah, 700 is pretty much right in between ask and bid. This being slightly used VNDS, I'm going to mark it at 600. So 3290 with all the shoes from the top box. Now let's get the bottom box open and see what's in there. So here we go, got the top box open. All right, the bottom box open. Oh, you can already see the Jordan 1 right there. Get this thing open. Ugh. So here's a look at it. I think this belongs with that. So yeah. So let's get this out. You can see from Hank to Tank. No, there's no box paper in here. So these might be used. Ugh, let's check it out. See size. Size 13, the Pan Goto. I've had a pair in a size 10 before. I got it from my... From a friend of mine that made me a mystery box. But I mean they're like oh yeah, they're for sure used. You can see the big crease right there. But all around, pretty clean condition. Let's check out the other shoe. Yeah, you can see a toe creasing. But the bottoms are super clean, no star loss. Extra laces right there. So this is the next shoe from the box, guys. And those, let me see if there's a... So he didn't have his old price, but he got it from Statement. Statement, whatever you say it. And size 13, brand new. Last sale was 600. More of the other recent sales, around 500, 550, 570. So this being used, especially with that toe crease, like that toe crease was... Let me look at that. It was not terrible, but it is like something that people are going to notice and want to lower the value with. So I'm going to mark it at 350. So I'm at 3640. The first 8 shoes. Can't really tell how much boxes are going to be here, but be in here, but it's a good amount. Let's go with this Jordan 1 box. Let's see, and this is a size 10, my size too. And oh, it's the pine greens. I actually don't have a pair of these. This is brand new as well, so this is the ninth shoe from the box, guys. See extra laces inside the shoe as well. Jordan 1 High Pine Greens. And these, I'm going to go ahead and mark it at 300 right in between ask and bid. So I am at 39.40. Let's go on with this. For youth, I'm going to get it. I'm going to go ahead and guess these are the Red Thunders. Jordan 4s. Yep, they are. So really good pair right here. These are for sure going to move fast, but this is the next shoe from the box, guys. Jordan 4. Oh, 
Jordan 4 Red Thunders. And these, they're surprisingly going for under 200. I'm going to mark it at like 190 because I know for sure I could get around that price. So I'm over the $4,000 mark. Still a good amount of shoes to go. And you can already see this right here is going to be a really good shoe. Please be a size 10. Hang the Tank TV. I don't know if you know my size, but we're going to see if you hooked it up. Oh, you suck. I'm just kidding. Size 11 and a, and a half. Jordan 1 High Patent Breads. Extra laces. So a brand new pair right here. This is the, let me see, the 11th shoe from the box, I believe. Jordan 1 High Patent Breads. Still looking for a personal pair. Size 11 and a half for those. Gonna mark it at, gonna mark it at 370. So that puts me at exactly $4,500. $500 away from what I paid. Oh, and there is three, four, five more shoes left. So let's go with the Yeezy 350 right here. So here it is. This is the Yeezy 350 Belugas. It's not the reflective pair that released recently. This pair came out in 2017, and they actually go for a lot more than the recent release. But these are slightly, or not slightly, they are used. See the condition on them. All the lettering on the insole is gone. But like all around on the uppers, really clean. Like you see no really you know no flaws but size 13 a brand new pair in a size 13 it's not loading but you can see going for i would say like 700 680 ish last sell 670 so this with a slightly dirty bottom i'm gonna mark it at like 400 so 4900 this is everything i've gotten so far with four more shoes to go Let's get this done. Another Jordan box. It's another um, Jordan 8 in the size 11. And don't know what this is called, but it looks like it'd be, it would be called the Cool Grays. So, so you can see a Cool Gray colorway. Brand new as well. So let's look these up, but this is the next shoe from this box, guys. So I knew it. They are called the Cool Grays in a size 11. Gonna mark it the last sell, so like 345. So here we go, the last three shoes. I'm already at like $240 profit. Let's see, next shoe here, a Jordan box. Jordan 1 mid in a size 12. And, ooh, I, ugh, I forgot what they're called. They're like, I have had a pair of these in, before, but they were bricks. I have no idea what market is on them now. But when I did get it, it was during the release date. But this is the next shoe, guys. Some mids. And a size 12 for those. Going for, I'm going to mark it at 160 So I am at $5,405. $400 profit, and this is what I've gotten so far. Two more shoes to go. And they're both Jordan boxes, so looks like it's going to be a good ending right here. Size 9, a Jordan 1. don't really recognize the tag. Ooh! I know for sure I've seen the like pictures of these. Don't know exactly what it's called. Yeah, yeah, you guys are going to roast me, but I know they're going for a lot. Oh, I'm already at $400 profit, and this shoe is just going to add to it. They do look slightly used, I think. I mean, they are laced up like that, so it makes it look like it might have been worn. So let's just say a tried on pair right here. It's the next shoe from the box, guys. All right, this is for sure not the pair I was thinking of. But they're still going for a good amount. Size 9, going for about like 300, I would say. This looks slightly used. It had the little stuff on the bottom, so I'm going to mark it at 280. So that's where I'm at right now with one more shoe to go. So everything I've gotten so far, guys. A lot of heat from this box. Here's a better look at it, but let's go. One more shoe. Final shoe from this $5,000 box. And it is a size... Older label, a size... A size 8. So let's see. Oh my goodness. Not for sale Jordan 1s. Are these brand new as well? 
There's no way these are brand new, right? Let me see the insoles. This might be a DS. Check out this pair. I mean, these look brand new. Oh my goodness, Hank the Tank. Rare, let me see. I'm gonna have to confirm it with him. I do think these might be slightly worn, but they're super clean. So these not for resale Jordan 1s. It's a size 8, by the way. And you see, last sale was 860. Let me check. More recent sales of 900, 860. So kind of all over the place. I'll just mark it at 860. Or I think they're tried on, so I'm going to mark it a little lower, like, let's say, 830, 835. So that puts me at $6,520 for the $5,000 box from Hank the Tank TV. If I'm able to sell out those prices, that is $1,520 profit. So, huge shout out to Hank the Tank TV. You can see 16 pairs in total here, and he did not disappoint. There's a lot of heat in this box. So, huge shout out to him. Here's a quick look at his YouTube in case you guys want to check him out. And here's a look at his Instagram. That's where you buy the mystery boxes. He posted them on his story for sale. But that's going to wrap up the video, guys. This is his $5,000 mystery box. Let me know what you guys think of it and leave it down in the comment section below. But if you guys haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel. Leave a like on this video. And I'll see you guys next time.